We got an email from Vampress the other day asking, how do you do a hair texture? And there's probably a lot of ways to do it, but I've got a fairly quick and easy way to do it with Photoshop. Uh, grab a new document, 128 by 128 pixels, and then let's say we're going to do a uh, brown hair pattern. I usually like to take three colors with this technique. and So I'll select usually the darkest color first, and then I'll fill the area. I do that with like an alt delete. You can also fill over here. Then I'll grab a brush and I'll make it an extra soft brush and I'll take a slightly lighter, maybe like a mustard brown, hold down shift and I'll paint it maybe a third of the way on the page. Then I'll grab an even brighter yellow, make my brush brush size a little smaller, paint it somewhere else on the page. And that's just about it. Now we're just going to do some filters. The first thing we're going to do is add noise. And I want to do about 15% Gaussian and monochromatic. And so there's the noise. Now we're going to do a motion blur. So I'm going up to filter, blur, and over to motion blur. And I like it set at 90 degrees and around 700 pixels. And there we have hair. And you can use the hair just like this, and it works fairly decently on uh, many hair patterns. It's a bit strong, but it does work. There's a couple optional steps you may want to take. At this point, you might want to do another Gaussian filter. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur and something really low, like I might put that down in the 1 range, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and that gives it a nice softer tone. Now if you want to add highlights, here's another additional step. Make another layer on top, grab a light, a light color like perhaps white or yellow, soft brush again, I'm just going to slap some white across the page. And this is a, a layer above, remember. Now, change the blending mode to overlay. You've got some nice highlights and you can also adjust this. We can adjust this downward to the place the place you think it's best. Uh, another way you could do that is with the dodge and burn tool. You could add highlights and low lights as well. Save for web and you've got a hair texture. Now uh, I've actually made a action of the hair that if you do want to download from taunt.com we have it here. The way uh, you load it is just drop it into uh, your Photoshop action folder which on my computer on most default installs is program files, Adobe Photoshop, presets, Photoshop actions. Once you drop it there uh, make sure your action, go to Window, Actions, and then I'm not sure if you can see this, let's see, there's the actions, you can click on the top and say Load Actions, go looking for that hair one you just dropped in, load it, and it'll appear on the list, and then all I do is that first step again, let's, let's do a whole new hair here, I'm going to uh, Take something, let's, let's make crazy purple hair. You can even just swirl stuff around the page. Then just apply the action. Let's see here. And once again, we have hair. Check out more tutorials on taunt.com. Thank you.